Rhode Island and Massachusetts have among the largest Catholic populations in the U.S. And as a result, many southern New Englanders are fascinated by the historic proceedings, including Providence's Catholic bishop. Our in-depth coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly, who joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Cardinals celebrating a mass in the Vatican before they gather by themselves in the Sistine Chapel for the conclave to elect the Roman Catholic Church's next pope. I'm really excited. I'm praying about this very fervently, um, but anxious to uh, watch the smokestack like everybody else. Praying, Bishop, for what? Praying that the Holy Spirit will direct the church in this time of transition. Bishop Thomas Tobin leads the Diocese of Providence. In an interview with Eyewitness News, he called the job description for the new pope enormous, almost impossible for a single human being. Uh, the new pope will have to be a great administrator. He will have to be a great pilgrim and world traveler. He'll have to be a man of intense prayer. He'll have to be a man who chooses great bishops and makes priests and nuns and the faithful happy. Each time the 115 cardinals vote, their ballots will be burned in a furnace and chemicals will be added to the fire to indicate whether a new pope has been elected. Black smoke means no, white smoke, yes, the Roman Catholic Church has a new pope. I find it fascinating and, and reassuring that in this age of technology and social media and Facebook and, and iPhones and Twitter, that the whole world will learn about the election of the new pope with a simple puff of white smoke. We also talked to Catholics here in Rhode Island about what they want in a new pope. That's coming up new at 6. Live at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.